There is no normal. I always say that. Fuck normal. Normal is a lie. I have to credit the fuck normal moment to, to a cousin of mine who said it maybe 25 years ago. Normal is this great lie by which we, we play with categorization. Okay. Candy. But human sexuality is, is a wild card. I think Candy is the least judgmental person I have ever come across. That was one of the most incredible lessons I've gotten from Candy. Too cliche for you, probably. I don't think anything's cliche if it's true. It's been used to enforce certain cruelties. So I gave that to Candy, the idea of you cannot make me ashamed. I want to find this girl. Well, that's nice, but uh, supposed to just look at the tape, not fall in love. It's my daughter. It was a true story about a woman. Her father actually showed up at her door on, I believe it was three separate occasions. There's a backstory that I imagined that is not sort of obvious in the story that the mother committed suicide. So she's harbored this anger, this resentment, and this sort of deep sadness. For someone like Melissa, she has spent so much time becoming this new person. To have something from your past come back, it's, it's scary. I really need to see your face. David Morris is flawless. I'm sorry. All you want to do is watch him because he's so real and authentic and honest. He gave an amazing performance, which did help even through a door not being able to see him. I just felt it. Make me say no one more time. You were headed in December of 85 to the assassination of uh, Paul Castellano and the changing of the guard in the Gambino family with the rise of Gotti and, and the guys from Ozone Park. There was volatility. These younger guys are coming up and are starting to sort of question, you know, the kind of traditional ways of doing things. A lot of people in the New York families tried to rigorously claim that they were gonna have nothing to do with narcotics. Keep this between me and you, all right? Yeah, Tom, you should. But cocaine sort of broke that down. If we're taught that money is the thing, and it's just a new racket, Longo is a purely transactional person. For him, this is another way to earn. There was a lot of money in drugs, and they like money. So people might, you know, they started doing a little bit here and there, but they wouldn't talk about it officially, because you like having that money coming in. And if you didn't do it, somebody else is going to do it. Tommy Longo, he gets into selling a little bit of drugs with Frankie. It sets in motion a lot of things that will decide the fate of all of our characters. Ah.